Welcome to the 2022 Roadrunners Rattlesnake Chase Riders Meeting. There are a total of three races, each being 10 miles and are one hour long. The checkered flag will be waved at exactly one hour from the start of each race, regardless of who is crossing the finish line. The first race is all age classes and women's class starting at 8. Next is all quad classes starting at 9.30. Last is the 200, 250, and open class at 11. There are a total of two checkpoints in addition to home check. All riders are to check in at home check before your race. Please bring your helmet to be scanned. Please also bring your AMA card and your registration confirmation if you signed up online. For riders under the age of 18, please drop off your minor release forms to home check before your race. Bomb run practice. For those who are new to District 38, prior to the start of the race at a designated time, you can practice what is called the bomb run. The bomb run is the start of the race course. Typically, the bomb run distance ranges from a quarter of a mile to a mile. The bomb run starts at the start line indicated by start markers as shown here. The end of the bomb run is marked by a large banner, also referred to as the bomb banner or bomb. Riders are not to go past the bomb banner during bomb run practice. Doing so is considered pre-running and is subject to disqualification. Riders are to return to the start line by following the red bomb return markers shown on the screen. Bomb return markers are a safe route back to the start line. Riders are welcome to practice the bomb run as many times as they'd like during bomb run practice. Bomb run practice closes 10 minutes prior to the start of each race. Race start. Depending on how many entries per race will determine if there will be a single or multiple line start. A member of the promoting club will inform riders on the start line if there will be a single or multiple line start. If there is to be a multiple line start, the first line will be all expert and amateur skilled riders. The second line will be all novice skilled riders. All pie plate riders will start on the second line and are scored as novice skill. All starts are dead engine and are a mass style. The starting banner will be raised once the promoting club determines all engines on the start line are dead. The starting banner will remain up for at least one minute. Once the starting banner has dropped, all riders on the start line will start. After the last rider has left the start line, a sweep rider will ride the bomb run to ensure that the bomb run is clear. At the same time, the next line will move forward and the process will repeat. First, courses are marked by orange arrows and pink ribbon. Turns are indicated by orange arrows in a 45 or 90 degree orientation. Depending on the speed of the turn, multiple arrows might be used. Either a 3-2-1, a 2-1, or just a single arrow configuration is used. The turn will be at the single arrow. After the turn, look for a single up arrow. Hazards are indicated by blue cards and or yellow caution tape. The severity of the hazard also follows the 3-2-1, 2-1, or single blue card configuration. The single blue card is the location of the hazard. If you come across a wrong way arrow, turn around and try to locate the nearest orange directional arrow to get back on course. Mile markers are at every mile. Please pay attention to mile markers. If you come across a down rider or a broken down rider, first ensure they are okay. Then please notify the nearest checkpoint with the person's riding number and what mile they're located at. There are several checkpoints throughout the course and one home checkpoint. Prior to the checkpoint, you will see a checkpoint ahead marker as shown on the screen. Please slow down to a safe speed and be respectful to checkpoint workers. If they cannot read your number due to your speed, you will not be scored. Pits. This year there will be a pit bypass after home check. You will see a sign after home check indicating which direction the pit bypass will be. If you choose to enter pit row, you are to maintain a maximum speed of 15 miles an hour for the entire length of pit row. It is the responsibility of those riders who enter pit row to safely merge with riders on the bypass once past the end of pit row. Riders are not to cross from the bypass to pit row and vice versa. Doing so will result in a penalty or disqualification. This has been a Joe Shooter production.